Hey collective. Okay guys, I am getting ready to do the other half of uh, the signs for love. Okay, so today I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with Pisces. So we will do um, the water signs first and then move to the air signs. Okay, everything will be time stamps here. So feel free just to click on the time stamp to access the readings that you want to watch. Okay. All right, guys, thank you guys for being here as always. I hope that you are doing very, very well. And let's get started. For Pisces Spirit, what do we have today for Pisces? Sun, Rising, Venus, any other placements for Pisces? Okay, Emperor. Five of chalices. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Somebody seems to be very, very sad. So first of all, Pisces, your person seems to be somebody who's not really saying a lot, honestly. In fact, they might be I feel like they're holding back in some way. They could be. This is, mm, let's see. I have this emperor card here is that you could be dealing with the Aries for sure. But I feel like somebody's life is kind of on fire right now. That's really what I'm getting here. There's a lot of sadness around this, a lot of regret. Somebody could definitely feel like they messed something up here um, quite a bit. I don't know if you were in a committed relationship with this person or... Gotta be this last two cards indicate to me is somebody married? Okay, let me let me back this up for a minute because somebody could could be married here. Somebody feels like they lost their freedom. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this reading phase. Let me keep going because I feel like somebody here feels like they gave up their freedom here and they're really stressed out about it for some reason all right oh yeah this is definitely somebody that might is keeping a close eye on you trying to see what you're doing here i don't know if you're standing out to somebody you're in the six of wands energy you could be being celebrated in some way have a lot of achievements for yourself oh my god I definitely think this is somebody who screwed something up with you in the past. And, and the thing about it is, is they have a stoic face here. I don't feel, look at that. You've got two, you got a knave and a knight coming in here. Both of them carrying some kind of gift. I don't know if this is a boss of yours because this is a love reading. Father and that emperor energy or just somebody here that just does not really because this is a person that's not going to be expressing a lot of emotions here. All right. They, they like to keep the control or feel like they're in control all the time. It's a person that's really questioning. I feel like their life, they're questioning. Yeah, I think they're assessing their life. That's what I get. They're questioning where they've been investing at. I mean, they something has happened in this emperor's life. Okay. And I'm telling you, if they were single before, they feel like they've gotten themselves into a committed situation or something that they're not, it doesn't seem like they're happy about, like they're regretting that. They might have, this might be a shotgun wedding, something like that. Um, because they're having to watch something happen in your life. So I don't know what's happened here in your life. It seems like you're shining here in your own life. Again, you could be well-respected. You could be somebody who is, you know, held in high regards here. They're certainly seeing you held in high regards, some kind of high regards, but they're also seeing people that seem to be appreciating you. This is a person I feel like that is taking a very, very long time to come towards you, Pisces, or that's been very slow about maybe telling you how they felt about telling you anything. Again, they're coming off in this emperor energy. I feel like somebody feels like they didn't, they didn't act on something, but they knew it. Like I, I didn't, 
didn't, you know, I didn't go towards Pisces, but this is the person that I knew was for me or something along those lines here. You may have been isolated for a while or took some time apart here for yourself is what I'm getting here. But you, I'm telling you, you have someone here that's probably going to reach out with some kind of communication. This is going to be someone here that feels like they could have messed things up or they could have made the wrong choice. I also feel a lot of connection here between the two of you. So this could also be just chemistry. Maybe you guys have had good chemistry in the past or, you know, that can, of course, that's not just about sex. Naturally, chemistry is about friendship and everything like that. You guys just vibe with, with each other. Yeah, I definitely think you have someone here that wants to talk to you and they may actually be trying to send some kind of message or, or create some kind of avenue here is what I'm feeling. What's interesting is this four of swords and just watching the man here, right? That's actually blind walking along here. I think they're trying to do, they're trying to sneak up on you. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting here. They don't want you to see it. They don't want you to see it coming. Maybe because they've taken so long, maybe they want to kind of catch you by surprise. But this person has not stopped paying attention to you, watching you in some way, trying to see what is going on in your life here in that Knave of Swords energy. Yeah, look at you. You seem to be coming up. Um, yeah, you're, you're doing well, obviously, in your own life here. You've done well in your life. I don't know if you're a tarot reader here, if you're... A psychic and intuitive in some way of course in this card she actually has a crystal ball maybe you do that too scrying i don't know i just feel like there's something here about you that you're doing that is actually yeah for some of you i'm getting that you could actually be doing something like this you could have a channel or a platform in some way that's not going to apply to all i think you've done well for yourself you seem to be very stable in your life at this time you may be doing well financially as well. They definitely see you as somebody here of high value is what I'm getting. But you're dealing with a king of wands here in reverse. At least that's the energy. It could be a Leo or any kind of fire sign, but that's the energy that I'm getting. Okay, so this is a person that definitely is not... Yeah, I just don't, th this could be a person, first of all, that's very promiscuous, okay? So, did, were they already engaged or were they already in a marriage or something like that when they met you? Okay, I feel like this person is somebody who could bounce around a little bit, but they could also, they like things to be done their way. They can also be manipulative is what I'm getting. They don't like to not get their way, let me put it that way. They could be very attractive for sure, but... There's something amiss about this person. Yeah, and they don't like, I, I think somebody here wants some, okay. Something that you are getting here, they feel like you have too many options and I think this is really bothering this person. Really bothering this person here. Because they see that you're doing well. They see that you've been able to create something. or And maybe, again, if this is some kind of creative endeavor you're doing. Or if you are on some kind of... Um, yeah, maybe if you do have a platform. Anything like that. It looks like you've done well with it. Or you're doing well with it with this Ace of Pentacles. They also see that you have a lot of options here. You're holding all of these keys here. I don't feel like somebody likes this here. Now, I'm wondering if this is someone that you were actually married to before or someone who you had a strong relationship with before that maybe could have stepped out as well in this, this King of Wands in reverse energy. I don't think this is a person that's very faithful. I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody sees you're getting some kind of justice in your life here. Now, you could have also had some kind of court proceedings with this person. Just take it as it resonates, especially if you have a child together or something along those lines. And now they see that you're kind of moving forward and doing well. I think somebody definitely has a lot of regrets here. And they feel like, you notice this house is on fire. Their house is on fire, right? And they're looking for some kind of lifeline here because they know they made a bad decision. Hmm. 
Okay, let me see if I can get some more about this situation. So this is obviously past. I don't, I you know, I like to let the cards just come out past, um, present, or future. Yeah, detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. I feel like that is you. Okay, you're clearly doing well. You're not focused on this situation. Every picture that we have of you, you seem very regal and very stable in your life. I think you have moved on and detached from a situation. Probably also an issue for this person. Yeah. This person says they know that their inability to make a decision hurts you in some way. Yeah, but they were also dishonest, okay? So it was their lion. It was their antics here, okay, that ripped this situation apart. I don't know if it was a friendship, a situationship, a relationship. It says it ripped you guys apart, though. Yeah, but look at this. They're admitting their habits, okay? It's their habits that they have. They're still very much so in this energy, right? And they don't know if they will ever change here. But I got to be honest here, you look like you're doing quite well in your life. You've been able to establish, especially if you're highly spiritual, like it's coming out here. You've been able to, maybe you do do yoga and meditation, but you've been able to detach from this situation. Okay. At least for the most part here, because none of these cards show me that you're really phased. So they know what they did here, okay? They know that they set the house on fire. Let me just say it that way, okay? And it's due to, I, it feels to me like some long habits or, or patterns that they've been carrying around with them. Yeah. Yeah, oh wow. I look on the bottom and the card is literally sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Definitely, these are things that they've been doing. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right, Spirit, what else for Pisces, please? Yeah, actions speak louder than words. If you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they were doing. I think that that's what you did. They might have actually sparked some kind of awakening with you or some kind of growth even within you. Okay. And maybe that was their role. I don't know the nature of your relationship here, but it definitely looks to me like you've used it to better yourself. Actions speak louder than words, all right? You already know who they are. Distance, the separation you're experiencing is necessary, right? So there is distance or there could be distance between the two of you. It does say to forgive and release. You are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. That is beautiful. So if you're holding on to anything like that, Pisces, that is definitely spirit telling you that it's important to let that go. With detachment here, and it looks like even what you're doing here, I feel like you might have done that. You know, we don't ever have to forgive for sure, but definitely forgiving, you know, releasing. Um, that also allows the triggers to go, right? So that we're not repeating that process. We still have, we know what happened. We just don't have the triggers on it, right? And that feels really good. It feels very free. And in fact, okay, Spirit, any last words of advice for my Pisces collective, please? Look at that, the sun. Open your heart to enormous growth ahead. Yeah, Pisces, I think it's onward and upward for you. You definitely did the right thing. Um, whatever you did here to get this out of your energy, maybe it was legal, maybe it was just leaving a situation, but certainly energetically, the way that you've been able to detach has just helped you so much. Yeah, it says have the courage to embrace change, take risk and be adventurous. You may actually be traveling at this time or going out on adventures or starting new things okay if this is you over here especially if you have a platform it looks like you've already done that and it's paying off massively the sun is all about success as well so all right keep going pisces this is a beautiful reading for you guys okay i will see you guys very soon have a good weekend bye Hey, Cancer. Okay, guys, you are up. This is going to be for your love reading. This will be a general collective reading for the sign of Cancer. Send me rising and Venus signs. Okay, I do not predict if it's going to be past, present, or future. We'll let Spirit bring out the story they want for you guys. Okay. Remember, it is general, as stated before. Okay. All right. So, Spirit for Cancer. Cancer collective, please. 
Moon rising and Venus. Wow. Pisces had the devil in her. Wait. Did they? Maybe they didn't. That's in my collective. I'm sorry. <laughs> Scratch that. All right. For Cancer. Wow. This is your person. Oh, you got somebody obsessed over here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, this is interesting. Let me keep going. Give me Cancer's energy, please, Spirit. How does Cancer feel about this? Wow. Okay. You got a guy here. I see a guy here because I see a guy standing up here. It doesn't have to be male or female. You got a person here. Let me just say it that way. It seems to be heavily, heavily focused on you. I feel like there might be a bit of an obsession here. A lot of sexual attraction as well. It's a person, though, that's a bit untraditional, okay? Um, a bit of a nonconformist, if you will, is what I'm getting. Maybe somebody who is, could even be an atheist. It doesn't have to be, but it could definitely be somebody that, I don't know. I just feel like you're dealing with somebody here who kind of follows the beat of their own drum here, which is really interesting. Definitely a non-conformist, but I almost wonder if they're non-traditional in the sense that they're also non-committal. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't want to have any kind of marriage or something like that. Just a heads up there. This could be somebody that actually works in the legal field in some way. So they could be a lawyer or judge or um, could be a police officer. It could be anybody like that. I gotta be honest, this is a person that usually has, maybe they're held in high respect. This is interesting. Maybe you are with someone like that that's like a judge or or something like that. But I do feel this person is generally held in high respect. Maybe they've achieved a lot in their life. They definitely have a lot of eyes on them, is what I'm feeling here. I feel like they're focused on you, but I don't know that they're actually in the best energy. Okay, and maybe that is just, I say not in the best energy, maybe they're just, you could be dealing with a Capricorn for sure, but maybe they're just, um, I don't know, it's a bit of an obsession. I don't know why I'm so drawn to this particular card today. I see it all the time, but for some reason it's really like taking my view here. Like they, they want something with you. I think there's a lot of sexual attraction here. I got to be honest with you. It seems to me like there's a lot of that going on. Um, in this particular reading anyway. I'm looking at your energy here. You know, this might be someone that you were already talking to or wanted to talk to because I feel like they're taking their time when it comes to you. This could very well be present as far as I'm seeing right now. You may have actually gotten readings on this person or you could be intuitively kind of tuning in to this person, okay? I feel like they bring you some kind of happiness though, Cancer. That's what I'm getting. So this person could definitely make you happy in some way, bring you some kind of emotional fulfillment here. I don't know if this is someone new who you've met here because it does look to me like you're starting to develop some kind of feelings here. You feel like there could be some kind of renewal here. It feels new to me though with that Ace of Chalices. This is like a rebirth of sorts after your Hermit phase. So this could definitely be someone new that you're actually meeting or that you are into. And it definitely looks like they're into you too, maybe in a different way though. This is a person highly focused, I feel like, on that maybe passion with you. So there's a lot of attraction and maybe because this is like the initial stages as well. If this is someone who you've just met, okay. Maybe somebody predicted this for you too. If you've gotten readings or something and someone told you that you would meet someone, because you, you're definitely showing up here if this is your reading for sure. Is somebody here that's putting yourself out of here after a time of maybe 
spending some time alone, getting perspective perhaps on who you are, what you want, that sort of thing. You could have been healing in some way. You could have been going through a growth process as well. But it looks to me like you are putting yourself out there now and you may have found someone new or you may be interacting with someone new here, Cancer. Yeah, definitely. See, this is not something, I feel like this is not something oh, that you were willing to do before. So this could be somebody around your work. Damn, there's that baby again. Are you pregnant? I mean, I guess you could be pregnant. I see two babies in this picture or in these pictures here. Maybe you meet him as well as some kind of, uh, I see, keep saying him because I see a guy standing here, but just take it as it resonates. It could be him, her, it doesn't matter. That card is definitely not for a male or to signify male. But it looks to me like you could have been healing from some kind of heartache before here and you were just kind of unwilling to to even look at love maybe for a little while here. So this could be somebody here that you met at and about. This is actually a tattoo parlor in this particular place. So maybe if you were getting a tattoo or maybe somebody here has a lot of tattoos as well. It could be somebody that you were watching around work or that you met around work. Maybe they were doing some work either and even at your home or something like that. I feel like whatever this is, you're starting to really communicate. There's a lot of fast, fast movement. This is definitely a new start, I feel like, for you. i got to be honest. This feels very new to me. Okay, this is like rebirthing something new. Getting a new start in some way. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. If there's not already, baby, that's what's driving this person crazy in a sense. Although I think they are somebody who's trying to assess things, you know, making sure they don't move too fast. Yeah, on a situation. I definitely feel like they're trying to do that. But it does look like something is moving. And it does look like you're developing some kind of feelings here about this new start. Hmm, where do I want to go? Let me start here. Let me look at this for a minute. Because this feels very, very new to me. Oh, wow. Soulmate. Ah, oh, yes, this person is your soulmate. Your connection is sacred. Wow. Okay. What else here? Look at this. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, have you guys slowed down on the talking or something like that? Because I feel like that's about to speed up here. All right, somebody's definitely been taking their time. Or maybe you guys are in different areas as well. It does say separation. Hmm, okay. It does say beware of codependency. Look at that. Addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life. That is interesting because you do have the devil energy here as well. It's interesting because I think somebody is heavily focused on you even to the point of obsessing. And I can see that you might actually be getting readings on somebody here, okay? So you're obviously focused on this person as well. And this would be why you feel like it's a very strong, sacred connection. So maybe you guys are not talking right now, but that's gonna, I feel like that's gonna end. You have the Eight of Wands here and a rebirth that is actually coming in. So maybe you guys have actually taken some time apart. If you see this person also around work or something, because I see you looking in here around work or somebody's watching somebody true work in some way, they could also just work in your area. Hmm, okay. I think I'm going to get another deck because I want to get more into this because it does look kind of new to me. Actually, if this is a separation, let me pull some messages of Love Oracle if this is a separation. Yep, there it is. Look, look at the card that flipped is conversation. I want to call and hear your voice. Yeah. I think something's about to come back to life, okay? Even if there was a little bit of a separation here because somebody is so heavily focused on it. Obsessed, actually. Ego, I let my pride and ego get in the way of the connection. Okay, well, maybe that created a rift. And I am looking up here that they did have the hair font here. 
I do think, I did say, I think this person marches to the beat of their own drum. Okay, maybe they just have a lot of ego. All right, but they're definitely a non-conformist in some way. So maybe they didn't want to throw all in on something, but they said now that they see your side of the story. That's the understanding part. So they're starting to understand your side of the story, maybe why you could have felt a certain way in the past here. Yeah, I don't think they've been able to escape this either because it says our love is always there despite the distance. So there could definitely be distance between the two of you guys as well. And maybe that also created some kind of rift for you. Let me see what they may wish to say. Some kind of hidden truth for you. Okay. I feel the sexual tension. I told you. Mm -hmm. I feel the sexual tension. So I think they focus a lot on that. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. And they want to make amends. It says you broke their heart. Oh, or maybe you're telling them that. So maybe they feel heartbroken by you or you feel heartbroken by them. This is the hidden truth, divine masculine, divine feminine. So it could be either one of you guys, but someone feels like they can be themselves when it comes to you. I definitely think that there's a lot, a lot of attraction in this particular connection. Okay. And I think somebody's about to start speaking again. That's what I feel. So if there's been some kind of separation here, I definitely can see somebody's about to start talking or trying to maybe rebuild here something that was lost before here. Maybe they didn't understand the way that they were behaving or what you were trying to say. It says here that they get it now, but they let their pride get in the way. All right. I think you're going to hear from somebody. You got too many cards to suggest otherwise here. Okay. And they're going to want to talk regardless of what you decide to do with it. I do think they're trying to pull this back together. And again, that's part of the obsession I'm seeing. Okay, guys, that is what I have for you. Hopefully it will resonate with you. If it does, don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys very soon. Bye, Cancer. Hey, Scorpio. Okay, guys, getting ready for your reading. Um, this will be a general collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. This is love. Okay, past, present, future. We will let spirit decide for you guys. And I hope y'all are doing really, really well. Let's see what spirit has for y'all today. Let's look at Scorpio's person, spirit. The person on Scorpio's mind. Oh, wow. All right. So we have the three of wands in reverse here. Okay. Is someone even waiting on you to make some kind of decision, Scorpio, or make a move or something like that? Let's see. I definitely see somebody no longer waiting here. Yeah, somebody's. Okay, somebody's taking action on something or wanting to take some kind of action on something. Or maybe they're just no longer waiting. This could be somebody, I'm going to get your cards here in just a moment, but I could definitely be seeing somebody here that feels like they've been waiting on you to make something right. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Okay, this person is very sad. Um... Now, this person could have a lot of regrets here. They could feel very sad here. They're trying to push out of, they're definitely trying to make some kind of decision here. Do I move forward? Do I stay where I'm at? But honestly, I think, that, no, I'm going to say they have made this decision here. I'm wondering, let me get one more on this Five of Cups because I don't know if they're moving away from this situation finally or... Oh, wow. Queen of Cups in reverse. So you could be dealing with the water sign here for sure. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody knows that something that they did was wrong. Maybe they feel like they were being too codependent. Maybe they feel like they were emotionally manipulative. Something like that. Maybe they feel like they didn't listen to their intuition and now they have a lot of regrets as well. Whatever they did, they definitely have some kind of regrets. They definitely feel like they your house was on fire and it was their fault. Do you see what I'm saying? This person's looking for some kind of lifeline here. Maybe to help them out of whatever this situation is. I think maybe they've waited on you to make something 
maybe to come for them or maybe I got to be honest with you. If this person is generally emotionally manipulative and a bit needy, you could have been the one that generally fixes things or maybe they use their words, you know, to to almost love bomb in a sense, you know, so that you would fix things or to play. I feel a weakness to this. I got to be honest with you. I don't know who you're dealing with, but maybe this person plays kind of that or plays the victim in a sense. Hmm. Whoever this is, I think that they are tired of waiting. They might be making a move their self to try and, and just get out of whatever this is, whatever this situation is right here, or even to make a move towards you where they've been holding back, kind of waiting, unwilling to make something right here. They may be trying to do that here, recognizing perhaps their part here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, Spirit, let me look at Scorpio. How does Scorpio feel about this? I don't think you're in your head anymore as it relates to this. Not at all. Not at all. King of Pentacles. You're focused on your 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 money. You're focused probably on your business, maybe um, your work life, definitely on your own stability. I don't see that you're still in your head over this situation. Okay, I have a Knight of Chalices here. Let's see what this is about. Death card, that's your card in reverse. Okay. I don't know, Scorpio. I kind of feel like you're over it. I mean, I don't feel like you're in your head anymore. We have the Eight of Swords here in reverse and then the King of Pentacles to the Knight of Chalices. Maybe you have developed some kind of feelings here in another area or for another person. I feel like you could have taken some time here. There's something here that you don't, so was this a marriage? Maybe this was a marriage or some kind of heavy commitment for you before, because I do definitely feel like if you took some downtime to kind of regroup, I think that you're coming out of that. I think you've taken some time here to heal. Maybe it's because maybe that's the situation. You have taken time to heal. And now you're no longer in your head. You could also look at this as something that was more mm, higher font here in reverse. I think I also had that in the Cancer reading, by the way. I want to say that you probably could also look at this as something that was not traditional. Maybe you guys did not share the same values. Maybe that's part of what you're actually learning here. I do feel like you've been through a little bit of a transformation here in terms of your thought process or your beliefs here. So you could still have love for someone or caring for someone here or honestly this could be moving towards someone else as well after a time of kind of being down and going through your own healing here i think you're really focused on alchemizing growing maybe creating something better for yourself that's what i get I don't know why I said better. Maybe you are creating something better for yourself. Maybe what you're doing is something creatively. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio, please? I see those fire, that fire there too. Maybe you feel very burnt by that individual as well. Wow, look at this. You... Okay, so you might be shocked. Maybe their decision was to, to stop waiting on you to, to make a move or to fix something and to move towards you here. I feel like you might have something new coming into your life, though. Yeah, I definitely feel like you, you have something new coming into your life, though. I, Scorpio, it looks to me like you're marching very quickly towards something else here. So you might be trying something new spontaneously that just kind of takes off for you. It might just be a new direction. It might be something around your work life, something like that. But I think it's all about, I just said something better for you, you know, and then I get the Ten of Pentacles. I think you're very, very focused on your own stability, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles here. 
building some kind of generational wealth for yourself. I think whatever you're doing or whatever you've got going on is also, it may be creating a tower for other people. I don't know why I'm getting that or maybe for this particular person here because I'm telling you, you might be heading towards something else, Scorpio. I'm telling you that right now because what I'm seeing here is you're not going to, you may not be single for very long. It looks to me like you're developing feelings or you have some kind of romantic feelings or maybe you just want to be romantic with someone else who you've developed feelings for. Whatever this change is, I feel it's right around you and it could be happening very quick. And I think it's going to shock someone else that is around you here. Yeah, because while they've been sitting around maybe waiting for you or waiting to that, maybe you usually do make it right. And suddenly you don't, you're just, you're not as in your head about it anymore. I think you've changed. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this is over. I feel it's over and that's going to be, I think, the tower to someone seeing that this is actually finalized, that you've actually made some kind of different decision here. And part of that decision is to let this go, I think, completely here. And that has to do, again, with your own healing. That's what I'm feeling here. That has everything to do with the way you've been able to heal yourself and, and it's changed you on some level. Okay. One out spirit. See, look, I don't know if you're getting into something now that you feel, I mean, this could be very good for you. This could be something at a distance. It says that you guys could be inseparable here, but you have this situation here where someone feels like part of you is actually missing or part of them is missing without you in some sense, but they know that a lot of damage was created from this. They also know, they feel like both of you got hurt in this situation. Maybe you did, but look at this. There's that values card. You have too many differences with this individual. Your values are not aligned. You want different things. That's what I feel. So now they feel, or at least they're saying here, I just saw the card, I already put it back, but it said, oh, reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Now that they've, it, honestly, I think it's allowed you to gain clarity. You know, but not necessarily in someone else's favor. That's not what I'm getting from here. Not with your reading. I know Scorpios are stubborn as hell, so. I can hold a grudge too. So maybe, you know, maybe you just kind of willed your, your way out of that. But I think it has more so to do with your own healing, honestly. Wanting something different. Wanting someone you can vibe with. Understanding that this is not, it shouldn't be that difficult, you know. This is stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring romance into your life. I think you have someone coming into your life because I see you wanting to, to be romantic with someone here. And it may be someone who... You're at a distance with because it does say inseparable despite the distance. Our love is always there. Look, letting go. You can't make it up. If someone leaves you confused more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. I think that's what you did. That's exactly what you did. And look what's sitting on the bottom. Pay attention to red flags. Know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. I'm telling you. You did all that and you took your power back. All right? Because you knew that you were giving... Uh, someone control over how you feel. Your happiness should only depend on you. All right. This is why you came out of your head. This is why you healed. And this is why you're moving forward into something else. Okay. This is definitely going to create a tower in someone else's life. But it is what it is. All right. Very good. All right, so let me get some last words, Spirit for Scorpio. Any last words of advice for Scorpio Collective, please? Abundance. You have a lot here in terms of your abundance. So I think that you are being blessed in terms of financially. I mean, I'm sure you're working for it, but you're being a blessed. Uh, or you're going into a very abundant time. It says, lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success, and prosperity. Yep, and then I have Cracker as well. It says, positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. Absolutely. 
So yes, yeah, Scorpio, I think you're moving on from whatever was holding you back and it's taking you into a very profitable time, um, but also into a time where you might be developing emotions yet again into something that is more in alignment with you. And I think you're going to find yourself inseparable from this person. Okay. All right, guys, that is what I have for y'all. Hopefully it will resonate. Let me know if it does. Hit that like button. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Hi, Aquarius. Okay, guys, starting your reading. This is going to be your love reading. Very general, so just take a rest, Nate. Sleep a rest. Look at the person that is on your mind as well as you. See what information Spirit has for you guys. It could be past, present, or future. Just let Spirit bring out the story they want for Aquarius today, okay? All right, guys. Queen of Chalices. Okay, so maybe you are dealing with... Show me Aquarius this person, please. Oh, jeez. All right. I think there could be a lot of... Are there illusions that are going on around the situation? Wow, look at all of your reversals here. Well, something's not going well in this person's life. Yeah, I definitely think there's something not going on. Wow, okay. <laughs> this person trying to move towards a happier time, that is for sure, okay? I don't know if, especially if they've not been moving or unwilling to move towards something here. I definitely can see here, honestly, that somebody is emotionally manipulative or certainly holding back their feelings in some way here, not giving love to the situation. I also feel like they're holding back some truth that they may be aware of here. Honestly, they're holding back everything. That's what I'm getting. This is really interesting. So if you've been dealing with somebody, the will in reverse here, I don't think that their life has been so great, to be honest with you. They could be holding back quite a bit here in terms of their truth or knowing the truth about a situation and certainly holding back on a lot of emotion, okay, that they clearly have here. I've, yeah, honestly, this is a bit of a manipulation that I feel. So maybe they just don't want you to know. Maybe that is the manipulation. But there's there's something else I feel like that's going on here. And I don't know why. All right, let's keep going. Okay, you've been kind of in this. You've been taking a break from this. Or you've been in some kind of rest and recovery. Maybe you've been healing. Oh, yeah. Because you've had conflict in your own life. And you are protecting yourself. What the hell? Okay, let's see. Okay, I thought a card was trying to flip. What are you protecting yourself from? I mean, I definitely feel like you've been going, maybe, okay, there's definitely been a lot of conflict, I feel like, around you. You certainly feel the need to protect yourself. You may have been shutting yourself out or a lot of the world out here. I see somebody that's really bricking up their cave here or rocking up their cave, so to speak, um, trying to keep others out of the situation. But you could be getting some kind of message or something very soon here. The thing about it is, is, and I need to see what this is about because although your person has held back quite a bit here with the four of pentacles, I'm sorry, the four of cups here coming up in reverse, I feel like this is someone who wants to talk. You know, this is someone who wants to maybe get in touch. You know, this could also indicate to me there's been some kind of illusions around a situation as well. I don't know. I feel like somebody here is going to try and start some kind of dialogue now this person looks happy about whatever it is that she's actually hearing here as well somebody could be showing up but that's not what i'm getting i feel like this could be as simple as a message or something like that that's coming let me get some more on this information here's the crazy thing the person is looking at it looks like they're wanting to they're coming out of this phase of just being unwilling maybe to talk about things. So if somebody was just holding back, maybe they were even just being stubborn or something. They could have been lying to themselves or feel like there's illusions around this or there was a lack of trust around this situation.
They could be thinking about the good times, the happy times, though. Maybe even the connection here. I'm wondering if there's also a child. Maybe this, there's a birth around this person as well. I'm, I'm, I don't usually get that with that card, but that's what I'm getting. All right, so... Interesting. Let me see what else here. Let me get some more on yours because it's not so straight. Wow. One foot in, one foot out. Okay, so this is what I, I think your person has some kind of stability somewhere else or they viewed something as being stable somewhere else. Definitely monetarily here. But I see that they're making some kind of choice here to try and reach out to you. That's what it looks like. Okay, and this is interesting because you look very happy about it. But then you, I feel like there is a, going to be some kind of period of assessing. Maybe you're assessing what they've told you. Maybe it has to do with their happiness or what's been going on in their life. I'm looking at love. Maybe this is some kind of friend as well. Um, but I think it's more than that because I think it's somebody who spends a lot of time here in their head and that makes them hold back. And I think they might all also already be in another situation, to be honest with you, or something around their family, something that makes them feel stable or that they've known for a long time or that they've been building on for a long time. But look at them. It's one foot in, one foot out. Someone making a decision and trying to put some practical plans here into action. I just do not think somebody's trying to hold on to what they have but not be in it. Does that make sense? <laughs> so maybe somebody's trying to hold on to what they have financially but tiptoe away, you know? I don't know how to explain it. Look at this. Do you see that? Trying to tiptoe away from some kind of stability that they've had because they're no longer in their head about a situation here. So maybe they're trying to end something they have. But the, it's really weird. It's almost like I'm making the decision I'm no longer in my head. I'm going to move towards what makes me happy. But I'm doing it. I'm not doing it in a very direct way, am I? And maybe this person is doing some things too. Because, you know, the Four of Pentacles is all about holding on to what you have as well. Maybe they're taking some of their stuff with Maybe that's why they're doing this. Maybe they're trying to. That is the practical plan, right? They're trying to maybe save money or, stuff. you know, put away money or not make everyone aware of what they're having here so that they can move. They're trying to put an end to something here from the past. I think others around them could very well feel some, some sense of deception regarding this. This person might also feel some sense of being deceived as well about what was going on, especially if there was some kind of illusions going on around this person or lies that were being told here. Interesting read. Okay, let me get some of these. These aren't going to be too long either, but I'm interested to see why this person feels the need to sneak. Secrets, okay. I haven't told you everything. So there may have been some things. Maybe that's what they want to tell you. Maybe that's why they're bringing forward some kind of message here. They feel like you guys are inseparable, though. It says our love is always there despite the distance. So maybe there's a distance between physical or emotional. Let me see what I have. Habits. Okay. I don't know if we will ever change. Oh, wow. So there could be some kind of habits here that you guys have. Maybe the way you converse, maybe you're not clear communicate, uh, you know, communicator or something like this. I'm not really sure. It says we will ever change. There's something maybe that creates a separation between the two of you, makes them want to kind of hold back, feeling like 
things aren't being spoken or truth is not coming out or something like that. Maybe that is a concern for them. But honestly, I see secrets as well. I haven't told you everything. So maybe there's more to the story. You might be dealing with someone too that had like a child out of wedlock or something like that or has a child they forgot to mention <laughs> or they chose not to mention, you know. Yeah. Since I don't want to chase anymore. So somebody here doesn't want to chase anymore. So whoever was doing the chase in here maybe has pulled back on that and doesn't want to be the one doing that anymore. So if they feel like they're always the one chasing, maybe that's the situation. Maybe you felt that way as well. Yeah. It says I left when things get hard. Is that part of the habits? You know, is that part of the patterning that somebody just splits anytime they don't want to have a difficult conversation or things get too tough? Whatever this person has been in, I feel like they've been in it for a long time with this 10. Maybe that is with you. I don't really know. I do see somebody who's trying to walk it back to you a little bit, though. And I feel like they're going to start off with some kind of message here. I think there is something that they want to tell you or they feel like you need to know as well. Let's see the hidden truths here, Spirit. What are these secrets about? Okay, so they might feel like you actually do not feel the same. But they want to start over. This is interesting because I'm looking at your first three cards and how you've had to heal from something, how you are protecting yourself and really standing your ground. Maybe they feel like you don't feel the same as you once did. But their desire here, Aquarius, is to start over, to start the situation over with you. They miss hearing your voice. Hmm. I'm going to look into yours. I don't want to dig too much into your business, but I want to see why, why is Aquarius, why are they healing? Why are they protecting themselves? What's the conflict about? Okay, there's some kind of imbalance. Something here's causing you an imbalance or making you feel imbalanced in your life here. That's interesting. Maybe it is coming from a Queen of Wands energy, a Sagittarius energy, or Leo, I guess, Aries, either one. Maybe the situation makes you feel imbalanced as well in some way. I don't know what the Queen of Wands is about. Maybe the situation made you, especially if you are, let's see. I feel like you're protecting yourself. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm getting kind of a different thing here. Eight of Pentacles. Something about this situation or something around this situation has made you feel imbalanced, okay? There could be several people around this situation as well that maybe you feel are working against you, trying to impact you, impact your health. We have the Queen of Wands impact maybe, um, I don't know, if you, I hate to say aesthetically, but it could definitely be aesthetically or your health or something in this Queen of Wands energy, Impact the way someone even sees you or looks at you. Hmm. All right. Let me get an outcome here for this reading spirit. Yours is a little bit cryptic today, so let's get a few more cards for you guys. Yeah. Oh, Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. This is very interesting. Yeah, I, I definitely think you have someone that's going to want, somebody's going to try and reach out to you. Whoever's been working against you, do you might have a platform, honestly, with the Six of Wands energy here. You could be in front of other people. I almost said that when I saw the Queen of Wands, because Queen of Wands can be very inspiring, a very take charge, kind of natural born leader. 
and you may be doing that and you may feel like other people have been kind of working against you as well so you're trying to heal it looks like and maintain some kind of balance um, in your life here I'm asking for an outcome here though I just feel like you know I definitely get some kind of um, emotional satisfaction emotional fulfillment here maybe you're feeling very recognized you know, by this individual, if you want them back in your life, or maybe this is by others as well. You could be feeling the love from other people, especially if you're on some kind of platform or something here. But I do think somebody here is wanting to apologize in some way, shape, or form. This person could be going through their own bit of awakening here. And if they walked away from you before, maybe they're seeing things clearly now, because I can definitely see they're trying to walk it back into your life. This is a person that wants to start over with you. Regardless, I mean, obviously take it as it resonates and, and do what you feel is best for you. Use your discernment, but they want to start over with you. Okay, that's what I have for you guys, Aquarius. Hopefully it will resonate. Let me know if it does. Hit the like button. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Hey, Gemini. Okay, guys, let's get your reading. This will be a love reading in this general. Okay, we'll let spirit pick out if it's going to be past, present, and future. Let them tell the story what they think you, they feel you need to know today. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Thank you for being here, as always. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Two of cups. <laughs> okay, I like it. King of Swords, Seven of Wands, dang, oh Lord, somebody might be coming to your door, okay, this is somebody that's very defensive here, it looks like, Hmm. Let me keep going. I'm wondering, this looks like somebody's trying to bring something back to life, okay? Um, with this death card here, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, of course. I also see, I see your part of Gemini. Actually, I see Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here, as well as some Cancer, and I see Leo. Okay, let's keep going. I do feel like you might have someone here that's trying to bring something back from the dead. Let me get Gemini's energy and how Gemini will feel about this. This could be a person that, it could be an air sign that they get. wow. <laughs> you came straight out as the Empress here. All right, let's see. Ooh, Devil Energy. Knave of Chalices. The hangman in reverse. Okay, Gemini. This is somebody who has a lot of love for you. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I don't know if this is... Uh, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I can look at this two different ways. First of all, it's somebody who feels an amazing connection with you. This is somebody who has a... a they might feel like you're a soulmate, to be honest with you. Okay, there's a... There's a lot of love in this. They view you as their partner in some way. This person could obviously be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini as well. This is a person that can come across a bit cold or even aloof on the surface. You could be dealing with a doctor or somebody in the legal field, something along those lines. But what I'm getting here is this person is, they feel like they've been standing their ground about a certain situation, but they also feel like, they can come across as a bit guarded here. That's what I'm getting. They're coming across here as they're a bit guarded. So they have the emotions, but I th I feel like just looking at just their whole disposition here, this is a person that you wouldn't know that they have this much love underneath it all. That's what I'm feeling here. Uh, this person can be a bit impulsive, even abrasive, I feel like at times. They like to get their way. They might be somebody that runs into your life and then kind of runs right out, something like that, and, you know, leaves a, a I don't know, leaves problems. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that. You know, I'm definitely getting that because the Knight of Swords upright is not definitely not a bad card. I just feel like you're dealing with some. I'm looking at the picture, the artwork here. That always explains a lot to me. This person can be abrasive. They like to get what they want, okay? So they might be someone that just impulsively tries to 
to get in your house. I mean, look at this particular card. Okay, this is somebody that's definitely smashing up against a door here. Okay, they want back in your life in some way. They don't want something to be over. And I feel like you have really held your own in a particular situation here. You, This could be, you know, this could be your ex-husband because you are coming up as the empress here. But regardless, you are the empress, okay? You're all queens rolled into one here, okay? You could, of course, be a mother here. But you have your life together. You're very calm and nurturing. You know what you want. You're not going to settle for for what you don't, okay? And you have a lot to do here. That's what I feel. So you might actually be focused on different things in your life, okay? You could be creating new stuff. The Empress is quite creative here. You could be busy with other activities here is what I'm getting. But regardless, you, you have a good foundation, I feel like, in your life. And that is kind of what you're focused on. I think you're aware of some kind of... Um, dark energy that is around, I shouldn't say dark energy, lower energies that are around you. Maybe it's from this person. I'm not really sure here. Um, but I think that you're aware of that here. You could also be thinking quite a bit about this person, maybe about things that have happened or the fact that you know that they have emotions, but they're not actually showing those emotions. Why? If there's been some kind of divide here, because I see somebody trying to bring something back to life. Um, this needed to happen or did happen here. Yeah, I definitely feel that way. You could also, you are the empress. You could also have a child with this individual. It could be a water sign child. doesn't have to be, um, but it could certainly be that as well. See, I feel like you've actually spent some time on your own here getting some perspective you know, and kind of reclaiming your power here. But if I'm being honest, Gemini, I feel like you have a lot of focus here still on this individual. If this is your reading, I can even see you wanting to communicate here and possibly watching another individual to see what they're doing. Yeah. Okay. And maybe that is part of the issue. Maybe you're wondering what they're doing because they hold back so much and you know that they have these feelings. You know that they love you. But the thing is, although they're being very calm and calculated, very calculated is what I want to say. Okay, calm, cool, and calculated. Okay, um, there's a lot going on up underneath here. The thing is, with all these emotions, it's almost like they it, they erupt. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I just need to go get what I want. That sort of thing. I don't want this to be over. But we need consistency to sustain, usually, in a relationship. And I don't see that they've really had that. Okay, yeah. King of Chalices in reverse. See, this is not a person that was given a lot of love. They could have been giving, honestly... Not given a lot and you could obviously feel like this person was manipulative in some way definitely emotionally manipulative in some way here also have the, look at that i have the king of chalices and the king of wands here in reverse maybe you also felt like they were seeing other people or could have been a bit promiscuous definitely all about the passion um was not being honest with you Yeah, I, you've definitely gained perspective. In fact, this person could be, they could have been trying to come back in your life and give you, tell you, I love you, trying to give you, you know, some, some love, some sustenance in some way. And look at this hermit. This hermit's like, no, go away. I'm gaining some perspective here. I'm trying to see things clearly without being bombarded with whatever this is. That's what I feel. It's almost like, yeah, you're bringing me this goodness now. You're showing up now, but I'm really trying to, I feel like you were pushing that away. Because you know this person, maybe you know their character. You know that they can be a little bit cold, manipulative here. They can hold back on love when they don't want to give it to you. Yeah, this is a burden for you. Look, and you see that you're looking away here. And this is what's so interesting. This part always cracks me up because look, somebody's like, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? And you're just walking past. I'm walking on by. That's where I'm going. Okay, and this person looks stressed, right? Yeah, you felt like, you felt like this was a massive burden for you. Very burdensome, like you needed to let this go. But it's interesting. Why are you watching them? Are you watching to see what they're going to do next? Or are you watching... 
I feel like there's some kind of communication that you want to happen or needs to happen. This look, you might have somebody trying to come back on you. This is, again, this is the Knight of Wands energy. This person, maybe they, you know, maybe it is about passion, you know. But to be honest with you, Two of Cups started out this reading. It's not all about passion. There's definitely love here. I just don't know if it's healthy. This person's going to try and make some kind of entrance, I feel like, back into your life. It may be very abrupt, very quickly, but it looks to me like it's it's passion-based. Make it. Maybe they're making some kind of passionate plea to you because they see that you're walking away or that you have walked away. Like, you've dropped this, so that you viewed this as too burdensome, that you're sitting in this really beautiful, high vibe and energy now, and you're not going to want anything to do with them. Honestly, I feel like some cord needs to be cut here because I my feelings tell me that this is like this person because they focus on you so much as well. I think you're picking up as well on some of their energy. If you're feeling that, definitely cleanse yourself and do a cord cutting ritual if you don't want this person back in your life. Because I think they're trying to come back in your life. I got two knights here. Both of them happen to be the faster ones, okay? One is definitely about passion and impulsivity and all that good stuff. So let me see what else, Spirit, for Gemini. So why is Spirit bringing this up? Because this is from the past, the past making its way back. But I think it's because there's still some nasty energy hanging around this or some kind of obsessive energy that is hanging around this that you need to know about. And it, I'm, this is in your, how do you feel about this? Maybe you feel that way. Maybe you know that this person is very obsessive, okay? Maybe that's why you were like, no, stay away. I don't want that right now. This is actually putting me in a state of illusion. You know what I'm saying? I need to be able to sit clearly. I need to sit here and view things clearly. All right. So maybe you also know that this person is watching you as well. If you're not watching him, them, I have escape here. I saw a man there, so I said him. All right, so I have escape here. So I left when things got hard. All right, this person may be an escape artist, okay? Again, we saw the Nine of Swords. They could be somebody that's very impulsive. They don't want to talk about something. They don't want to explain something. They just kind of bolt. Look at that chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. So maybe you were the chaser in this situation before or felt like you were the glue or always trying to pull this together. I mean, you can see here. I mean, you can, right? You're the empress and they're coming out and uh, a, a king of cups in reverse, a king of wands in reverse here. I mean, that's not very stable, especially not in comparison to you. Yeah. You realize that you definitely have made someone realize their flaws, but mostly their shadows, okay? So, again, you're in this very high vibe in industry. Why am I saying industry? <laughs> Maybe you are in some high vibe in industry. You're in some high vibe in energy over here, okay? You could have been highlighting these things for this person, and maybe that's your role in their life as well, okay? Even though it could have been hard for you. Is to help them to see their ways so that they can change, so that they can grow. The thing is, I don't see that they're growing yet, okay? They're very chemistry-based, passion-based, okay? And what you guys have seems to be very intense to them. Yeah. This says, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Honestly, that could be you because I see a period of you sitting back in this hermit energy and getting clarity on the situation. It's interesting because I feel like you are coming out of this hangman energy right now. Maybe this person is watching to see what you're going to do. Are you going to move forward? Are you really done with things? Hmm. Yeah, deception. Someone is wearing a mask in the relationship. I think we know who that is. <laughs> I think that is pretty clear here. It says express your love. It is important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose here. I don't know. Honestly, I'm looking at you in the Empress energy. Empress knows who they are and they're not afraid to show that. They're going to be who they are. They're going to show their love, you know, generally. I don't know. I'm feeling like maybe this person feels that way, especially if they were always kind of dancing around the situation. Maybe they also feel like that is what would get you back, especially if they're very passion-based. 
and it says you have boundaries here and it says you need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will and will not allow that's exactly where i feel like you are look at this pay attention to signs here the synchronicities you've been noticing are not coincidences yeah i just feel like I don't know who this person is, obviously, Gemini, if you want them, I would say that you you want them, but you've had to figure out that you are enough, right? The person you're meant to be with or love you, uh, will love you the way you are, right? You don't need to change for them, okay? Maybe they made you feel that way at some particular time just because they could, I don't know if they couldn't settle down or whatever. I feel like they're bobbing all over the place here, but they also want to have you and keep you kind of attached. There is love here. That's for sure. There is a connection. But again, I'm going to go back to the lack of healthiness in this particular situation. This person needs to grow up, if I'm being honest, okay? It looks like you're learning who you are and that you are enough and that you deserve a lot more, you know. And definitely, you don't deserve all of this, uh, this deception here, right? Yeah, I definitely think that you're standing your ground with this situation. And I think you should, Gemini. You're doing a good job. So let me see, Spirit, any last words of advice here for the Gemini Collective? Oh, look at this. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. That could be either. There could be something here that's coming up for you that is a business opportunity. You could be attracted to someone else or this person. Express your love. We could have someone here that's about to throw some kind of Hail Mary because we can see there is this energy of feeling very obsessive when it comes to you and not allowing you to get away. Celebrations. You're ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. That's beautiful. Okay. I definitely think you have clarity on this. It says patience. Slow down. Change your attitude and clear your mind. Yeah, you know, after we go through really chaotic situations, it is important to do that. I do feel like you're coming out of hangman energy. So I think you've spent some time really doing that, honestly. But now just be patient and let things kind of come into your life that are more in alignment with you. That's what I think is going to happen. I do see lovers on the bottom. So you could have a new love situation that's beginning for you, Gemini. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Hopefully it will resonate. If it does, don't forget to hit that like button. I will see you guys very soon. Bye, Gemini. Hey, Libra. Okay, guys. Start. Oh, wow. Okay. Starting your reading, I guess now. <laughs> All right, Libra. Uh, this will be a general love reading. Okay. As always, I, this could be past, present, or future. We'll just let spirit decide for you guys today. Okay. See what they want to share with you for my Libra collective, please. Hmm person's trying to get away from something okay and give me Libra's energy please oh wow okay The Empress, beautiful. Ace of Chalices, okay. All right, so, huh. I don't know. I mean, honestly, the, a couple things stand out to me. I don't think your person's doing very well in terms of financially or somebody here is not doing too well in terms of financially. I feel like somebody here feels like they don't have the independence that they need or... Yeah, I just, I don't feel like they feel like they're up to par with you, especially you're coming out as the empress here, right? Maybe financially in some way, shape, or form here. This is a person that is holding back a lot, but incidentally, they could also just be, they could also be holding on to you. This picture is very descriptive to me because I have someone that's kind of sneaking away from something. So I feel like you definitely have someone here that's trying to be quiet about something. So they may not even be talking. They actually have their, their fingers up to their mouth as if to say, shh. So I don't feel like they're even talking, to be honest. If they are, they're definitely keeping a lot of secrets here. 
with the hangman energy though i wonder if they're even talking to you because i feel like this is someone here that there could have been a pause with but they want to come up out of this this is somebody here is heavily focused on their finances Yeah, I definitely feel like this is someone here that is heavily focused on their finances here. And maybe that's a bit, a bit of a hindrance. Maybe they're not speaking that to you, so you don't know that. But I definitely feel like that's what it is. So if there's been a pause between the two of you, this could have definitely been it. Somebody could have been focused on their stability. And maybe they're getting a new opportunity here now to either get a promotion or a raise. Maybe they just got a job. I don't really know. Something creative that they're starting here that they feel is going to bring them what they want here that's going to provide for them in some way here in terms of you i don't feel like you're giving any love to this individual i see the king of chalices here in reverse i feel like you've definitely pulled back all of your emotional your emotions here you could be focused well somebody here could be drinking honestly somebody here could definitely be drinking but you could also just be focused on your own emotional richness here you know what i'm saying on building yourself emotionally what makes you happy and also see that's what i'm saying you're the empress and the ten of pentacles here i think you're very much so focused on yourself you're focused on what makes you happy here you could have family around you but it's also about building um material wealth in some sense or having what you need the ten of pentacles of course is generational wealth so maybe you're just heavily focused on that i don't think you're focused a lot on love here you could be a mother okay you could be over some kind of organization something like that i do think that you're held in high regard you're coming off as the empress here so again all four queens here that are rolled up into one i also saw that in I think I might have saw it in Gemini's, I want to say. I want to say I might have saw that in Gemini's reading as well. So, um, you know, maybe your your time and attention is going to your children or to people that actually depend on you. You're coming off as very nurturing and you're a great manifester as well. I'm telling you, you're, you're somebody, somebody doesn't feel like they're up to par with who you are. And maybe they're trying to get that way, you know. You could be spending a lot of time here, Libra, in self-love here. I also see there could have been the birth of some child here. Maybe that's something that you're celebrating as well. Maybe with you or in the family. I see some blessing that could be coming in for you as well here with this Ace of Chalices. Something that's going to make you feel really good, very happy in your life. Or bring more happiness to your life, I want to say. Yeah, wow, again. All right, Spirit, what else for Libra? Somebody could definitely be giving birth. I see two babies. I saw that in another reading earlier, but I don't remember whose it was. Mm-mm-mm. Somebody wants to come in and heal something with you is what it looks like to me. Yeah, somebody who, who is no longer with you. Maybe this is the person that's been working on something or feeling like they didn't have enough for you. And I don't know that you told them they didn't have enough. I feel like this is just them. It's just their insecurities because I can see that they're keeping it quiet here. Somebody here is wanting to come back in. They want to rebirth something new. Uh, this is the Knight of Wands energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here. I also see Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. All the fixed signs. So Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or Aquarius here. I can see that we have somebody here that's trying to walk it back, okay? Somebody here that doesn't want you to to leave their life they want to heal something this person could feel very passionate about you maybe that's the way you'll know your connection as well as if it were very passion based before how does Libra feel about this hmm you might feel like this person is non-committal oh wow yeah 
You might feel like this person is non-committal though and emotionally manipulative to be honest with you. You might feel like this person is not honest and you could also feel, I gotta be honest with you, you might also feel like this person can be a bit codependent or needy or that's something that you have to watch out for with this situation because they are coming out with the queen of chalices in reverse here. Remember, you were the king of chalices coming out initially. So maybe you feel like this person can't be trusted. Maybe you feel like your values are just too different here. I feel you're holding back with the strength card, Libra. I feel like you're definitely holding back with the strength card here. And maybe for you, that is your justice, you know. Maybe that is you kind of balancing the scales in a sense for something that maybe was done before, especially if somebody walked away from you. Let me see what happened here because now I'm wondering why, why this person walked away. Again, with the values is falling on the Knight of Wands, maybe you feel like this person is a bit of a player or they're, they're just not serious enough about you or maybe they need to mature some, you know, they use passion too much and not love. You definitely feel like your values are not aligned with this person. Yeah, look, things didn't go the way I planned. Yeah, I unexpected outcome. I don't think this... <laughs> You know, I'm seeing you in this Empress energy after holding back. I don't know if that's something that you grew into after holding back your love or if you were always the Empress. I can tell you this. This person maybe is accustomed to be in a certain way or having people, you know, having their way with people, so to speak, coming and going, using passion, um, stuff like that. Maybe they thought they would play a few games and it just didn't work out. And now they're the ones having to kind of come back in and make things right. But... I don't know. I think that the whatever way you chose to handle this situation, it doesn't look like it went as they planned here, but they do recognize there is some kind of soul tie here. I always feel connected to you, and they want to mend things. They want to fix your connection. Look at that again. Wow. Soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. That could be you or them, because I'm seeing detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Interesting. So this is a strong connection. And I feel like someone, yeah, I feel like someone didn't respect it. They didn't treat it right. And now they want to come back and fix it. But it looks like you may have actually detached from this situation so that you could clear your mind. And it's almost like I see appreciation here for the soul lessons that came as a result of it. Like, thank you for the lessons, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of focusing on myself anymore. You're seeing things with clear eyes now. You're no longer, if you were in any kind of illusions or felt that way before, I feel like you're not in that. So this person kind of coming back around, although you're in a completely different energy here, is a bit of justice. It, it is a bit of balancing the scales, at least karmically, I feel. I'm going to see if there's some hidden truths here. I don't even know if you want to hear this, but just in case for Libra. Yeah, I trusted you. So you trusted this person. Maybe they feel like they trust you as well, or they trusted you. They could be watching you on some kind of social media as well. There's something about your growth that really stands out to me. So maybe you're growing a lot and that shows it says, I can't get enough of you. That I do believe because, and I don't know why this happened. Okay, but that's the problem. I can't get enough of you. It's because they, first of all, I think they held back on a lot of stuff. You could have felt like they were very secretive with this energy here. But also maybe that they were coming at you in a very, like I said, it was just, a, it was more like a, it was they need to mature a little let me just say it that way they were coming at you more so with passion and that's not passion is fun of course but that's not completely who you are for sure so you're a person of value you're a person of substance here is what i see and you want more from a situation you demand more from a relationship a situation maybe you didn't feel like you were getting that or being respected properly in this Yeah. Okay. 
So spirit, let's see. Any last words of advice here for Libra? Unicorn. Success, hope, freedom, healing, and magic are available to you if you just believe. Yeah, I, I definitely think you know your worth. You know that you're rare. Maybe you know that what you want is rare as well, and you're willing to wait for it. But what you're not willing to do is take just anybody that's not in the energy that you need them to be. There could be another path that's coming up for you anyway. A lover situation here, romantic situation. It says to be true to yourself, not to settle. Dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Interesting because you are meditating here. I think you have gained a lot of clarity due maybe to your connection to, to spirit and to loving yourself and respecting yourself first and foremost. And this says have confidence. There's great joy, renewal, and connection here. All right, guys, that is what I have for you. Hopefully, it will resonate. Uh, if it does, don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys very soon. Have a great weekend, Libra. Bye.